Hello everyone and welcome to Canarium, which is a newly released horror game you can find on Steam. I'll put the details down below in the description if you want to buy it and download this yourselves, alright? Now, Canarium is actually a game based on the works of H.P. Lovecraft, and I think it's inspired very specifically by one of his more famous novels and short stories, At the Mountains of Madness. Uh, as far as I understand, I'll be playing a scientist who is trying to sort of test the limits of nature uh, in Antarctica, I believe. These are all really wonderful points, but I think uh, what tops the list, as far as I'm concerned, is that this game is actually made by the same people who made the Darkness Within games. So, Darkness Within, In Pursuit of Loth Nolder, and The Dark Lineage, both games that I'm very, very fond of. So I think we can probably expect similar gameplay, if you're familiar with those games. Uh, yeah, really, really eager to give this a go. Really do hope you enjoy it. Let's start part one with the new game. Here we go. All life is only a set of pictures in the brain, among which there is no difference betwixt those born of real things and those born of inward dreamings. Okay. And we're in. Uh... Quite where we're in, I'm not entirely sure. What the hell? <laughs> Are we underwater? They certainly look like jellyfish, so possibly? I... I'm not sure. Right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, based on what I've seen, the, uh, the gameplay is going to be quite like Darkness Within 2, the Dark Lineage. As you can see, it's not a point and click. What's that? Sorry, who's that? No, actually, what is that? <laughs> Where are we exactly? Oh my. No more can we harbor ourselves safest shores for. There are things that cannot be undone. Is that right? Dr. Faust, is that you? Oh. What happened to his eyes? Ah, uh, it was all a dream, I think. What's that? Actually, isn't that what I saw in front of... What was his name? Dr. Faust? Slightly bigger version, of course, but... Right. Whoa. Oh, shit. I can't move. What is going on? What is this thing? Oh, the pain's fading. Ah, oh, the pain oh, here we go. I thought my head was about to explode. Okay. Uh, game controls. I've already had a brief look at them, to be perfectly honest. I think, uh... Yeah, they're quite simple, actually. And yet, yeah, kind of similar to Darkness Within 2. You'd be glad to know there is no Howard's Mind as such, if you're familiar with those games. This device... Its noises are resonating in my mind. Quite right. Um, we're meant to have a journal, actually, so let's see. J? I guess we don't have a journal quite yet. But we do, in fact, have an inventory, and yes, this is our first inventory item. This strange device was already on my left arm when I came around inside the meeting room of the Upper Outs... Or, the Upper... Not the Upper Out, the Upwarts Antarctic Base. It comes as no surprise that I don't remember anything about it. And, uh, here it is. Strange. Very strange indeed. Okay, let's head back. Uh, Alright. So, yeah, let's uh, let's avoid that, I think. I don't really know what it's for or what it does. What's this? Dr. Witt's Medical Records 1. Alright, well, let's take a read. If this is anything like the darkness within games, I'll just give you a bit of a warning. There probably will be a lot of reading to do. Uh, okay, so at 7.05pm. All the participants consumed the diverse uh, mixture five minutes ago, and they have entered some kind of altered state of consciousness. All of them are now vaguely mumbling in their sleep, like they are chanting something. But the sounds are not conscious. They seem restless. I detect movements in their limbs, and, as always, I wonder if it is because of something they are actually seeing beyond. 
Okay, ten minutes later. As always, the device is humming and glowing, but this time the atmosphere is different to the previous sessions. Whatever the reason for this might be, it feels almost like that fantastic device is signalling something in a code I don't recognise. It is becoming more and more stressful to be alone here, in the midst of this cold, dim and incense-filled room. Alright. It sounds to me like the intensity of the subject's mumblings is much stronger now. Colours and shades are dancing on the walls with the rhythmic ins and outs of the device. I can hear the wind howling outside. Maybe a snowstorm is approaching. Or something even worse. Exactly five minutes and three seconds have passed now. They have drifted beyond my area of expertise and guidance. I cannot do anything further except wish for their safe return. Wow. So that, that device? That device there? Right. Is that a flashlight? At Aha! Hang on, here we go. Yes please, I'm going to take that. I found a torch! And it's F. Fantastic. Okay. Alright, so let's explore the uh, the darker side of the room. This is what he was talking about. This is the, the mixture of Nightshade and Beyond. Right. Uh, fair enough. What have we got here? Oh, the Expedition Handbook. Yeah, I suppose I should give this a read. Or at least have a look at the cover. Can we not flip through the pages? Uh, no we can't. Its pages are literally glowing, but I don't want to have a look. That's alright. Anything else? I don't think so. Oh, right, okay. We're going to have to get specific, I think, looking in every drawer. Oh, compass! Alright. Uh, well, it, it's pointing north. They usually do. Uh, okay. Shame. I can't take it. Never mind. And I don't want to take that with me. That's alright. Okay. Anything up here? Any more books that I should read? I really do feel out of my element right now. Okay. Okay, so, so just looking at all of this. Are we on board a, a ship? Or, or, well, this is Antarctica, right? Maybe this is some sort of, well, I guess some sort of base of operations. The meeting room, fair enough. Hello? Anybody here? Probably not. Where is everybody? Locked. Locked, okay. Looks like we're having a power problem right now. Certainly seems that way. Yes. Uh, okay, let's check the journal. Oh, here we are. Okay, so it's actually separated into documents and the journal, my personal journal. So, no electricity. I found that the Antarctic Expedition Base, I'm not going to even attempt that word again, <laughs> has been enveloped in darkness and some of the appliances are not functioning due to the power outage. But why has no one attended to the problem so far? Where is everybody? Oh, I see, so we can light up the pages with the torch. Yeah, good question. Where is everybody? Perhaps they are beyond my area of expertise, as it were. Okay, just odds and ends stored around here. Let's see. Locked. Locked again, okay. Elevator, infirmary and storage rooms this way, apparently. Can I inspect them? I did see a little magnifying glass flash up, just for an instant, but no, I guess not. Okay. Slightly flooded as well, hmm. Well, let's hope we're not on a ship. <laughs> Living quarters? It's locked. Ah, okay. So where can we go? Do we just have to uh, reside in the meeting room, or this way? What about this one? This looks like a regular door. Yep, this works. Alright. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, a couple of fuse boxes, right? Oh, hang on, what's this? Here we go. Auxiliary power needs to be enabled manually from outside. And that's about it. Right, so we need to go outside. Yeah. Actually, for once, it doesn't really look like the fuses are the problem. <laughs> uh, right, okay, how do we get outside? Let's see. Down there? What was that? Stop those bloody sessions! Okay, what, the ones I just read about? Ironically enough, it kind of looks like this may have been written in blood. Hmm. Alright. Something else? Yeah, maybe. Let's see, we've got a health notice up here by uh, Johan de Witt. Uh, Attention crew members who are having problems sleeping. Examinations conducted regarding the increase of accidents recently led me to believe that the reason behind them is some kind of intense cabin fever. Uh, symptoms for this problem are insomnia, severe headaches, and seeing visions or hearing voices. Crew members who are suffering from the above symptoms are required to refer to me personally for a thorough checkup. 
This will also be the main topic of the general meeting that will be held tomorrow after lunch. This issue poses serious problems regarding safety at work, so it must be taken heed of soberly. Uh, okay. Cool. Very cool. I like that you're given a sort of plain text version. Alright, I'll have a look at this and then I'll have a look at the journal. Uh, Nikolai Hansen this time. Yeah, a snowstorm is expected to hit for the next two weeks. It is of utmost importance to take all cautionary measures and inform all responsible personnel when going outside. Please be aware that the radio connection between the base and the ship may not be available during this period. Okay. Uh, so there is a base and there is a ship. <laughs> Which one am I on? I'm not sure. Um, okay. And what did I write down in my journal? Okay, I'd better find a crew member. I woke up from a series of blurry nightmares, isolated in these somewhat foreign walls. In one of my pockets I found an empty notebook in which I'm writing my notes. I can't remember anything other than there should have been others here with me. The names Dr. Faust and Dr. DeWitt are lingering in my mind now. Additionally, trying to delve deeper into thoughts give me sharp pains in my already throbbing head. I'd better find a crew member and find out what's going on here as soon as possible. Yeah, I think we can all agree with that. Right. What about this door down here? Can I use it? Does this go outside? It might. It's not locked. Yep. Okay. Well, I can't see my body, but let's hope we're wearing some uh, pretty good clothing. Probably should have told someone before I left, right? Although, I didn't find anyone. Uh, okay, so, let's see if we can fix the electricity problem, shall we? Uh, do I want to go that way? I'm not entirely sure. Are there some wires I need to follow, or... Let's see. Can we sprint? Yep, we can sprint. There you go. Some containers. Right, so this seems like the base, not the ship. Uh, was that a helipad, possibly? Possibly, yeah. Not for this weather, though. I don't know. Let's go over this side. Let's check around the other corner, just in case. So far, so good. I'm quite liking this. It's giving me a, um, a cryostasis kind of vibe. Right. Well, we've got some flags here. Perhaps I should follow them like I'm skiing or something, you know? <laughs> Weaving in and out of them. My mind is cloudy. All I can remember is the successful establishment of the Upperwatt Antarctic base. And after that, nothing is clear in my mind. Up or out. Okay, that's how you pronounce that. I'll uh, I'll give it my best try next time. Looks like I'm not going that way. Right. So... Oh, okay. What have we got here? Is, is this where we need to be? Oh, it might be, you know. Here we go. Ah, yes. No? Wait, they, sh they should probably be down there, right? Hmm, okay. Is there a problem with wiring? Don't think so. Through here? Alright. That was kind of stiff. That's what she said. Here we go. Oh, I see. Someone trying to barricade themselves in here? Hmm, alright. What's this? Hang on. Oh, is that like a... Oh. Ah, I think we might be onto something here. That looks like it might be a generator of some sort, you know? Here we go. Oh, hang on. What was that? Okay, we have to be very, very specific with what we examine and, and where we're pointing, it seems. All right, so what's this? This hose was tampered with. So it was. That hose down there? Yeah, it was cut for some reason. And this? All right. Tank is empty. Ah, so we're running out of fuel as well. Maybe not for long. Aha! Here we go. Absolutely, take it. I found a jerry can. Right, so... Uh, space for the inventory. So there you go. A jerry can full of fuel. How do we... How do we use it? And what are trophy items, just out of interest? Hmm. Maybe they're like the statuettes from Darkness Within? I'm not sure. Can we just use it? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> well, I assume that's what I'm doing and not, you know... Right. Was that blood? I don't. I think they might be scorch marks and not blood. That's what I'm hoping. Right. So the fuel, that's no longer an issue. This hose was tampered with. 
I guess we need to find a spare hose. Through here? Okay, I, I don't feel like shoulder barging this one. Alright, I guess I don't want to go anywhere near this. Okay. Got a... Hang on, got a toolbox here. Ah, no... Well, no hoses, but... Got some tape. I think. Yeah, I found some tape. Right. Well, maybe that's it. Maybe I can use the old hose and just tape it back up. Hey, there you go. And that was apparently it. Slide it back in. Do we need to put the door down? Let's do it anyway. Um, okay, so it's refueled. Presumably it's not spilling anywhere anymore. Okay. Oh. Oh, I like that. Red to green. Yes. <laughs> Have we done it? It sounds like it. It really does sound like it. Okay. That's pretty cool. Was there anything else in that toolbox? I saw a couple of spanners and wrenches and stuff like that, but no. It's just the tape that I needed. And I suppose that's all gone now? Yeah, I used the whole roll. Okay. Um, well. I think that just about covers it, doesn't it? Should we go back to the main base or keep exploring outside? I kind of want to keep exploring outside, honestly. Can we? I guess we can't climb up here, can we? Oh, blimey. Uh, we can get very close. <laughs> but, but we can't quite get over the, uh, the precipice. Right. Well, still haven't found a crew member, which is kind of alarming. What about if I go this way? Is there anything over here? You know, past the helipad? Or what I think is a helipad? Hmm. I don't really want to stray too far away from the lights. Alright. Well, that looks like a mountain. It's easy to get lost ah. in this weather. Uh, I had better stay close to the expedition base. Probably a wise decision. That's okay. Let's uh let's get back inside where it's a little bit warmer, shall we? Maybe with the power on we can really see what we're dealing with. Eh, this is cool. I like this so far. Hopefully you do too. Wow, look at that symbol. Alright, back inside. That's more like it. Alright, so... I guess... Yep, these are all still fine. They don't need to be meddled with. I'll keep these open, though, just in case I do need to meddle with them later on. Uh. What? Whoa, 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 hang on. Hi there. Found ourselves a crew member, I think. Although I'm not entirely what sure. I don't know. I don't know. Medical supplies? No? <laughs> I guess we don't want to dose up. Not quite yet. Fair enough. Uh, right, well, let's... Let's go this way, I suppose. Where'd he go? Towards living quarters. Which is no longer locked. Oh, right, oh cause, was that because of the power? I'm not sure. Right, I, I think I'll, I'll come back to this, because I think I actually passed by a notice board that I didn't notice before. Can we, um, can we have a look at all this stuff? Right, another weather notice. Is it the same one as before? I think it is, so let's just leave that. Okay, we have a ship here. Okay, the Wheel of Pequod. This one down here. Okay, that's the, uh, that's the symbol on each of the doors. What is that? <laughs> I can't identify what that is. What, what's this? Familiar visits... Uh, or familiar visits in the lower chambers once more in the form of a black cat. Its spectral image echoes throughout the seven rooms. What sin called it out from its hollow, looming, dim, and ghost-like? Well, I haven't got the foggiest right now, I'll be honest. Right, let's, uh... Let's, let's follow... The crew member, shall we? Is that Dr. Faust? Maybe. Crew rooms? Private rooms. Or lockers. Let's have a look at the lockers, shall we? Okay, so these are the people that I'm meant to be with, I suppose. David Berker, old Ferguson. Who am I? What's my name? Hmm. Locked. Well, maybe mine won't be. It's locked. H. Anderson, here we go. Okay, we've got a couple of things. Oh, a coat! If his coat is just right here, where is he now? I'm not sure. 
What was he reading? Or writing? Uh, the portrait. Okay. Oh, I think again, we're just... We're just allowed to read the cover. <laughs> we can't really delve into this, unfortunately. And there's the coat. Okay, uh, Len Brown? What? Ned Well. Ah, here we go. Oh, what's that? Ooh, that might come in handy. And what's that? I see Morse codes on it. Alright. Brilliant. Yeah, I found a walkie-talkie. Okay, have I um, been updating my journal with these facts? I uh, don't think so. No, there don't appear to be any more pages. That's fine. That's alright. Johan De Witt. Lost. A name I'm familiar with, but no, I don't think that's me. Whoa. What? <laughs> what? What are these? What is that thing? Oh, okay, it's a little statuette. Of something or other. Right. Well, that's that's kind of strange. We're not taking that with us, no. And I don't suppose we want to take any of these with us either. <laughs> what a mess I've made. And his jacket too. His coat is just right here. Where is he now? Maybe he was the one I was following. Okay, right. I'm still none the wiser as to who I am, unfortunately. Let's uh, let's check out. Well, let's check out the crew rooms, shall we? Maybe he went this way. Okay. What was that? <laughs> Did the doors close automatically in this game? They might. I'm not sure, though, yet. Alright, what have we got here? Okay, a couple of drawers, let's see. Coat and hanger? I suppose we want that. What's this? Hansen's Notes 2. Alright, 1949. These nightmares have become unbearable. I still see the same man in my nocturnal visions, but now he is holding something in his hand, which I believe to be a lotus flower. We seem to be continuing this grave and serious conversation again and again, but I still can't remember the contents. During working hours, sometimes, I can hear his voice through the radio. It is not a form of meaningful sentences, but more like some unconscious mutterings. I'm afraid to tell anyone about this, for I hate the very idea of the suspension I will probably be facing. Wow. Alright. Cool. Cool. Okay, and the top drawer? Nothing too interesting. Alright. Is that me, rocking that moustache? <laughs> Unlikely? I don't know. Okay, so hang on. I, I know I can't jump. What about... Right, I can crouch. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I can't crouch enough to see what's under the bed or anything like that. And No, I can't climb the ladder. Right, let's try the other room. Here we are. Okay, yet again, I'm going to start with the drawers. Some goggles, some odds and ends. A sketchbook. Okay. Oh my. One of the composite sculptures we've come across during our initial field trips. It has an open third eye on its forehead, as well as inside its hand, which I think indicates some kind of state of knowing because allusions to knowledge and elder things recur all the time in almost every bas relief we've discovered so far. All this leads me to believe these creatures inhabiting those halls have acquired some kind of knowledge from the elder things. Fable creatures of primal myths. And there's more. And more illustrations. Look at that thing. Huh. Several other examples of the composite sculptures ranging from humanoid to reptilian in shape. They were mostly damaged and generally in a really bad shape. The lost parts were completed by the artist's imagination. And there's yet more. Huh. I wonder if we're going to see an image of the, uh, the sort of fishy fin looking thing that we saw on the notice board, maybe. Uh, the abundance of five pointed shapes seen in the design of the structures we've come across cannot be overlooked. In addition, most of the elegant figures adorning and staring silently from above, most of the gigantic gateways are reptilian in shape. Wow. This grotesque masonry caused an uproar with the countenance it wore on its, re on its reptilian face when we first found it residing within the almost substantial darkness of the cave, where it had been carved in aeons past. Some of the crew even claimed that they had heard some muffled laughing sounds coming from within it. The pine cone it was guarding or hiding with its humanoid hands has some symbols carved into it, which we are yet to decipher. Are these the symbols? Maybe. It was holding a pine cone? Just a pine cone? Okay. Oh, that's it. That appears to be uh, the extent of the sketchbook. Right. And I'm going to take it with me, it seems. Oh, that was a trophy item. Oh, there you go. That's pretty cool. 
So I'm assuming a trophy item is not something that we absolutely need. It's just some uh, interesting thing that we can have a look at. Maybe get some backstory. Right. Some pills. What is this exactly? A butterfly. Very nice. Okay. Uh, not really having too much luck in finding the crew member. Maybe in one of these two rooms? Oh, here we go. Alright. What have we got? More goggles, couple of gloves. Something else to read? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I told you. I thought this was going to happen. It is very, very heavy on the reading. I'm inclined more towards the notion that our nocturnal visions are not just faint and fantastic reflections of our waking experiences. Every time I pass into a state of dormancy, somehow I can explore while I am dreaming the vistas of grandeur. An alien prospect in unnatural disposition, so vividly expressing the outer extent of this world I have yet to discover. If only I was endowed with the artistic skill to describe my visions. All I know is that all this became evident after the Canarium sessions had started. Even though I am not one of the participants, I am somehow affected. I feel I am absorbed while in an unconscious state, into the oblivion, crossing the line beyond the wall of sleep. Yeah, this is Lovecraftian, all right. Is that it? I, I think that's it. Just that, that one torn out page. Okay. Oh, <laughs> whoops. That's the guy, is it? Okay. And what have we got in his drawers? Not much, not much, and... Ah. <laughs> Loving it. Okay. And, uh, this room as well? Yeah, okay, all of these seem to be unlocked. I guess everyone trusted everyone else at the base, that's what it seems like. Not very security conscious. Oh, we have a key! A key to something! Oh, Johan de Witt. Oh, the locker, possibly? Uh huh, yeah, I might give that a try, actually. Some more gloves, and uh, another picture of this boy. Right. Okay. Anything on the shelf up here? No. Well, this is kind of interesting, actually. Right, looks like we got two more rooms to explore, and is this another medical cupboard? I would think so. But again, I'm going to leave the painkillers alone. Locked. Ah. <laughs> Locked. Never mind, never mind. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah, let's head back to the locker. Your hand to wit. Yes. All right, his coat remains his as well. Coat is just right here. Where is he now? But I have found a note about a mental problem. Okay. Oh, this is some sort of secret. Oh, even better. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I am recognizing various gameplay elements from the uh, the Darkness Within series. To be honest, I'm going to give my voice a rest. <laughs> I've been talking a hell of a lot and, you know, doing the commentary on, on top of it and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to read this a little later on. Okay. Well, uh, no strange vision of a crew member. So, private rooms, possibly? Maybe, maybe. Ah, here we go. MC Blake. <laughs> Is that me? I don't, I don't know. Something up there, no? Or down here, possibly? Ah, oh, hang on, oh! What does this do, I wonder? I just pressed C, and I and I got my, uh, got my device on my hand out. Whoa! What was- oh. Oh, was that just because of the light? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought- I thought I was in the right area to do something. Oh, man, alright, yeah, turn the flashlight back on, that's what I really wanted. Uh, okay. What's this? Stuck. Ah. Okay. And this? Oh, a switch? Is it a switch? It seems to be connected to this. All right. Oh. Yes, take it. And and what is that? It. I found an object that looks like a handle for this thing. Well, let's take a look at it in the inventory, shall we? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I 
if it doesn't go in this, I'm not entirely sure where it would go. That's alright though, that's alright. We have a book down here. Hidden Plants of Great Antiquity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I did want to save my voice after all. Alright, any more books? Yes, actually, there is. W oh, and it's something else we can read. Uh, okay. Ooh, this looks challenging, so I'm actually going to give it a go. Uh, scientifically, the pineal gland, also known as the pineal body, gonarium, or uh, epiphysis cerebri, is a small endocrine gland in the vertebrate brain, named after its shape, which resembles that of a pine cone. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, it is located in the epithalamus, near the center of the brain, between the two hemispheres. The pineal gland produces melatonin, a serotonin-derived hormone which modulates sleep patterns in both circadian and seasonal cycles. But mystic traditions and philosophy ascribe it a different role. René Descartes regarded it as the principal seat of the soul and the place in which all our thoughts are formed. And in the writings of Madame Blavatsky, it was explained that the Hindu, uh, Hindu concept of the third eye, or the Ajna Chakra. As a part of the human body not fully understood today, it holds its deep-rooted place as one of the most important links between our material and the continually degrading mystic nature. There you go, so that's the gland right there. Tiny little thing, really, isn't it? It's kind of strange how little of neurology we really know. Crazy. Uh, yeah. Again, we're going to take it. Wait, hang on. Oh, this is another trophy item. Hey, I'm not doing too bad, am I? Unless, of course, you know, I've already passed by, like, five or six. What's that? Ah. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Here we are, then. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. And I can use the mouse as well, that's pretty interesting. What exactly is this for? Wait, hang on, let's, let's back away from this. It's attached to this. Is this powered as well? It's that still doesn't work. What about this one here? No, just this. I wonder what this would be for. Hmm. I don't know what values I, sh I should give this. Maybe if I just crank this all the way up. And then... Yeah. <laughs> or maybe slow it all the way down. Hmm. Don't know. I might need to come back for this. Yeah. And these are the only two things we can interact with this just large knob here and that yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah, I'll um I'll come back to this. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here quite yet. Can we have a look at this? Oh, we can. Great. Ah, so uh, we're regulating the power. Oh, that was that was alternating current, was it? Was that what I was seeing? Uh, probably. And this? Oh, check this out. After our haphazard and momentary aerial exploration of the unholy, utterly alien, cyclopean maze of square, curved and angled blocks, we could detect most of the locations revealed by the previous Miskatonic University expedition leader, the Professor Emeritus William Dyer. But what we are looking for is not there, inside the haunted Shoggoth ruins. According to various sources, it should be the much older ruins beyond the Elder City, right on the edge of a mountain beyond the Mountains of Madness. It was built over a location deeply shunned by the Elder Things, and built long before the colossal city Dr. Dyer and his team explored. Now we set foot upon lands no one has ever seen before, a vast mass of dry land around the South Pole which rose from the primal waters when the Old Ones seeped down from the stars. A place so evil, most of the arcane sources hesitated to record it at all, whilst some murals within the Elder City depicted it with obvious repugnance and trepidation. So this is this is really related to At the Mountains of Madness. That's actually sort of like a canonical thing in this universe. Cool. And again, we're going to take it. Is that some sort of trophy thing, or...? No, it's just a note about the location of the base. Interesting. All right. And this? Uh, I know we're close to what we've been looking for. During the adaptation sessions we hold here in the meeting room, I feel a guidance of some sort. Something pointing towards the destination we seek. This could mean we are now in sync with the ancient source. The wearable canarium we're carrying on our left arms connects and thus receives sensations from the same ancient source. And sometimes I wonder whether there has ever been another soul during humanity's relatively brief period of existence who was able to achieve such a feat. 
Within some shunned and elusive sources I have gathered from around the world, it is said that the extraterrestrial species the Elder Thing race built it after passing through a stage of mechanized life on other planets, but its purpose remains unclear. Yes, yes, despite how much we are reading I'm still not really sure what we need to do with it. But we do need to do something with it, that's why I can press C and bring it out. Hmm. Very strange, very strange indeed. It looks like that dial there. I don't know, it might be some sort of clock. I don't know. Uh, okay. Right, well, I think that's pretty much that for that room. I'll come back to that and see if I can regulate the power and maybe get that thing working. But let's check out James Barlow's room. Locked. Ah, alright. What about... Oh, Dr. Faust. Locked. Frank Gilman? No. Did I lock my door? Oh, that's I me! I don't remember where my keys are. Right. Okay, Frank Gilman. Right, where would I have put my keys? <laughs> that is a good question, isn't it? Um, you know what? I know this has been a relatively uneventful video in many ways, but we have read a lot, we have learnt a lot, and uh, we finally discovered what our name is. And I think that is a, a fine point to end video one on. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you back in part two, where we'll continue exploring the base, and maybe find the keys to my room. See you then. Okay. And we're in. Uh... Quite where we're in, I'm not entirely sure. What the hell? <laughs> Slightly flooded as well, hmm. Well, let's hope we're not on a ship. <laughs> Can we just use it? All oh, right. okay. <laughs> well, I assume that's what I'm doing and not, you know... Oh, I like that. Red to green. Yes! <laughs> what? Whoa, 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 hang on. Hi there. A name I'm familiar with, but no, I don't think that's me. Whoa. What? <laughs> What? It was holding a pine cone. Just a pine cone. Okay. What does this do? I wonder. I just pressed C and I and I got my uh, got my device on my hand out. Whoa. What was? Oh, oh, was that just because of the light? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I thought I was in the right area to do something, but its purpose remains unclear. Yes, yes. Despite how much we are reading, I'm still not really sure what we need to do with it. 